Fresh versus canned. The standoff. Would you choose fresh asparagus? Hmm? Yeah? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Or would you choose mm, canned asparagus? No. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't make faces. Fresh asparagus. Hey, all the way. And it's fresh for the win to make these delicious fried asparagus with only three ingredients. Asparagus, egg, and a good quality grated cheese. Not the one in the canister. Ciao, Michi Christina here. Make sure you stay to the end where I show you a special bonus on how to pick the best asparagus. Let's prep one bunch of fresh asparagus. What you do is hold on to one stalk in both hands, then gently bend the bottom end until it breaks off. This is how you know you are getting the most tender part of the stalk. Rinse it and place it in a steamer pot over medium heat. Now to prep the eggs. Use six eggs per bunch of asparagus. Here's a helpful hint. In case you get eggshells in your bowl, use a larger part of the eggshell to fish out the fallen one. The eggshell acts as a magnet. Add one and three quarter cup of good quality grated cheese, not the kind from the round canister. The asparagus is done when easily pierced with a fork. In a medium-sized frying pan over medium-low heat, drizzle in one to two tablespoons of olive oil. While this is heating up, drench your asparagus into the egg mixture and using tongs, mix it up thoroughly. When the oil is hot, add the asparagus two at a time and drizzle one to two tablespoons of the egg mixture on top. Cook until the egg solidifies and then flip it over. Cook until it's golden brown and remove it from the pan. You want to repeat this process until all the asparagus is cooked. If you have egg mixture left, pour it into the pan to make a delicious omelet. No food goes to waste here. And there you have it. A beautiful appetizer, a tasty side dish, or just because. And only three ingredients that you can pronounce. Sweet beans! This was really delicious! Thanks for staying to the end. Here's your bonus, how to choose the best asparagus. And let's choose our asparagus. And here comes the rain. You wanna choose the asparagus that have the thinner stalks versus the thicker or fatter stalks. The thinner stalks yield a more tender asparagus. Not those, those, right there. For more recipes like these, using ingredients you can pronounce, click the video on your screen right now. Ciao for now! Hey Soph, do you like asparagus? What? <laughs> but I love you. Oh, I love you too, my little Soph.